Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I went to New Jersey and Pennsylvania and I did some, oh, also I got some stuff from, from here in Connecticut. So let me show you all the stuff I picked up this past weekend. First of all, I went to a great wedding. Oh, it was beautiful. And I did, I did um, go live from the rooftop in Philly. So if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it somewhere in here. But I did a live from the rooftop of a, the Hilton Hotel in Philadelphia. And we had a blast. It was a beautiful wedding. Very classy, elegant. I love that. Um, a little girl, she's not little anymore, she's 30, but I've known her since she was three years old. And it's hard to me imagine for me to imagine that she's um, she's an adult now and and she's married and all of that. But uh, life goes on, right? Anyway, so I picked up some stuff in Connecticut. And it's funny because I forgot to, um, I forgot that I wanted to haul this. Some of the stuff I picked up for Poshmark. So I'd already cleaned these up and bag them up but I thought let me just bring this to you um these shoes I absolutely love these shoes these look like they were never worn so these are going on Poshmark I like these and um this is an eight and a half wide but I wear an eight regular eight but if these don't sell your girl will be wearing these so but I got those for Poshmark there's another pair of shoes that I got for Poshmark and this that was those are from Goodwill by the way I hope everybody's doing great today. These were also from Goodwill. And I just, um, they were already in pristine condition. I just Lysol them out. And these are Garnet Hill. And these are going on Poshmark as well. Are these cute? These are not my size, so uh, I will not be keeping these. But hopefully they can go to a, a good home. So they're like a dusty rose and gold tip seven and a half. If anybody out there wants them, please let me know. But they're going to Poshmark. And I keep forgetting when I'm buying this stuff that um, I should probably show it to you first. But anyway, um, so that that's from Goodwill. This is from Goodwill. This little guy, how do you like this? Isn't he awesome? I could not pass him up. He just looks so classy. And it feels like it's made of wood. And I got it for half price because the color was yellow. What was it green? Yellow, yeah. Nettle Creek Gallery Classics. I don't know who he is, I need to look him up. But um, debating whether I should paint him white or what, or just leave it like it is. I love this guy. I think it's kind of classy. These little things, uh, little plastic plates, were um, $1.50. And they have a Target sticker on them, so for $3. So I like them because they were pink. So I got two sets of these. these I walked by these at first because I didn't know what they were but I knew they were my blue and I knew I liked them so I said well you know after I circled a few times I said I could do something with them now I know what they are they're um can't show you here in my kitchen but I think they're for the lamps for your um kitchen pendant lamps so these were a buck or was it color yellow I think I got them for half off but I like them because they're my color blue. So there's one. I'm not gonna unwrap the third one. I have three of these. I got three of them. They're cute. Look at this. I don't know if you can see this. Let me go back and show you this because I hope my camera's picking up all of this this guy okay these which were I said what a dollar 
They were marked a dollar. I think I got them for 50 cents. And these pink plates, which were $1.50 from Target. So I have three of those. Whoa. This is why I didn't want to unwrap them. And when I was in New Jersey, I stopped by my 50 cent store. You guys know that place that I always go to. Oh, by the way, this is so funny. My, my Goodwill stuff is in a bag, a supermarket bag, because apparently as of August 1st, uh, Connecticut no longer gives out bags at stores. So if you want to buy, a, you want a bag with your purchases, you have to pay 10 cents. So that was kind of shocking to me, but so now I'm carrying these bags, which is something we should be doing anyway, trying to conserve. But I used to use those bags from plastic stores to line trash cans and, and other little things like that. So I didn't waste them. I, I recycled them and used them, used them again. So anyway, I'm at my 50 cent store in New Jersey, Country Bumpkin, and picked up some stuff. And these are, I don't know what ALK is, Authentic Laundry Khaki, whatever. And these are just some pants, some khaki pants. This shirt. So some of this, so when I go there, I'm thinking, okay, maybe I can get some stuff for Poshmark and maybe I get some stuff for Hubby. Um, he doesn't like, he know you guys know he doesn't go into thrift stores, but what I thought I could do is get these things. Sometimes I just buy things and wash them and slip them into, into his closet. So this, I'm not sure. This is Chaps by Ralph Lauren. Chaps, Ralph Lauren. Nice shirt, nice men's shirt. This is hubby size, it's a 17, 34-35. Really nice shirt with the uh, Chaps Ralph Lauren signet, um, monogram on the pocket. But I don't know, I might put this on Poshmark. I might just put this on Poshmark. Um, I'm not sure. I like it for hubby though, but we'll see. These I got with hubby in mind. These were just um, from the 50 cent thing. Nino Ceruti. These are all his size. Great white shirts. It's funny, we went to a, the wedding this weekend. He could have used a nice white shirt. Um, another nice white shirt because he only has a few um because of his line of business he didn't really have like a lot of dress white shirts so he could always use another one this one some of these look like they just came from the cleaners all starched up i may keep this for him another one Really, all starched up like they, like they just came from the cleaners. Um, these will definitely go on Poshmark. These are Riders by Lee. I think this is like an 18W. I saw it somewhere in here. I remember when I was looking for the tag. I think it was like an 18W. Yeah, 18W. So this is going on, definitely going on Poshmark. This I thought was so, so cute. Look at this. This collar, it's like a, um, I don't know if this has even been worn. It's still stiff. You see this? cute is that? Oh, it's a men's shirt, I guess, because the buttons are on that side. But how cute is that? Slim fit perusal, extra large, nice. So, 
that I'll look that up and see if that can go in Poshmark. This looks like it is really looks like it's new. I don't think this has ever been worn. And the last thing is this, these shorts, which are Gap uh, size 10. These are nice too. So I got that from my little store, Country Bumpkin. And I love going in that store, except that you have to pick around. You really have to dig around in there. It's, um, it uh, can be a little junky sometimes. She now tries to put the clothing off to the side, uh, to keep it away from the furniture and stuff. But the problem is she's got these big dogs and she's, they're always in there. Sports bra. Those dogs are always in there and they're friendly. I mean, too friendly. But I find that they're rubbing up against the clothing and, and all of that. So you really, really have to wash everything that you get from there. Um, not that you wouldn't anyway, but um, everything you get from there really has to be um, wiped down and washed because uh, there's like dog hair all over everything. And uh, anyway, kind of grosses me out. But anyway, so that's that. And then while I was in New Jersey, I went over to uh, cross the bridge. You know, I live, my house is right at the state line of Pennsylvania and New Jersey. So I crossed over and went had to meet one of my sorority sisters. And so while I was meeting her, I popped into Ross because um, Elle, Easy Living with Elle, is coming back from Ross with all kinds of blue and white. So I popped in to Ross and I got this. You know I can't pass up a little blue and white. I thought it was a good deal. It was like $14.99. $14 and I almost picked up a few more pieces, but I was like, no, no, let's, let's not. So I got this one and I love it. I can't wait to put this somewhere, but I love it. I think, is that it? Oh no, I did get one more piece. I got one more piece from Goodwill, but I'm saving that for my $5 Goodwill challenge. If you're not familiar with that, um, uh, Hillary from Old World Home has a challenge every season, and the fall $5 Goodwill challenge is coming up shortly. So if you are a, um, a YouTuber and you want to participate, you have to look out for the date of her um, YouTube challenge for the $5 Goodwill challenge. And I know it's coming up soon. So I have a piece that I got from Goodwill, unless I buy something else before then, but I have a piece that I, this is making an echo. Hello, hello, hello. Um, I have a piece that I got from Goodwill that I am saving for my $5 Goodwill challenge. And I absolutely love it. I was tempted to show you guys what it is, but I think I'm going to hold on to it. Um, yeah, I'm going to hold on to that for my $5 Goodwill challenge and, and save it for that. So I hope everybody is doing great. Um, I can't wait to clean up this stuff. Well, the shoes and everything are already cleaned up. I already did those and cleaned them up and bagged those up for Poshmark. As, as, as a matter of fact, these are already listed on Poshmark. I've had some had some um, some interest in them um, already. So I can't wait to get these things cleaned up and washed and decide, well, the, the men's shirts I'll probably keep. The shorts and stuff will probably go on Poshmark. So we'll get those done. But anyway, thank you guys. This was um, just a, I think this was a small haul. And uh, thank you guys. I hope everybody's doing great. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when I upload another video like this one. And for my returning friends, thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.